I'm trying something new and I'm stepping out of my comfort zone so I put my hair in a bun and I never wear my hair in a bun so I don't know how I feel I kind of think it's cute but I don't know let me know what you think I don't ever wear low buns so it's a little different but I'm happy I stepped out of my little comfort zone <laughs> We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a very different and a video that I've never done on my channel before. But I'm going to be giving you guys some five cozy holiday drink recipes. So, like I said, I've never done videos like this before on my channel. I've never done like in the kitchen videos and like recipe videos, so I'm definitely trying something new, but I thought since it is the Christmas season and I personally love cozy drinks, I decided to come up with a few simple recipes for different holiday drinks that you guys can enjoy during this beautiful holiday season. I also made sure to include something for everyone because I know I have a bunch of different audiences, so I have a few recipes for my coffee lovers, I have some recipes recipes for tea, I have, uh, what's it called, hot chocolate, and I also have a smoothie recipe. So I'm sure everyone watching this video will find something that they might be interested in trying and hopefully let me know if you do, but before we start make sure you guys have subscribed and click that bell so that you're always notified and updated for more Christmassy videos for the season. And also one last thing, I actually started Vlogmas this year again. I love Vlogmas so much and I actually already have three videos up, so if you haven't checked them out already, please do. And yeah, without any further ado, let's get on to five cozy holiday drink recipes. So first up is this delicious holiday iced coffee. It's my personal favorite from this list and here's how to make it. So you will be needing your favorite cup or mug. I will be using my reusable Starbucks cup. Then for the ingredients, you'll be needing some instant coffee. I'm going to be using this one from the brand Our Finest. You'll need some sugar and some milk as well. A few ice cubes and a little bowl or cup to stir your instant coffee in. Then for toppings to make this drink a little bit more Christmassy, you'll need some whipped cream, some sprinkles of your choice, and lastly, some chocolate chips. First, take around two teaspoons of your instant coffee and put it into your tiny bowl or cup. Then take two teaspoons of sugar and put it into the same cup or bowl. Then grab around the measurements of a shot glass of room temperature water and pour it into the instant coffee mixture. Now just stir everything together for around like 30 seconds gently until it turns into a nice creamy liquidy texture. Now take your cup or mug and put in a few ice cubes, I usually put three to four. Now pour your instant coffee mixture into the cup over the ice. Then just pour milk over it all. Then just make sure to stir it all up and pretty much your iced coffee is made. Then your last step is to add your toppings. So first I like to put my whipped cream and then put a little bit of some sprinkles and just top it off with some chocolate chips and mwah, chef's kiss. And there's your holiday iced coffee. This is honestly one of my favorite drinks to make. It is so simple and easy and in my opinion, better than Starbucks. Oh my god, no, literally, this is delicious. This is delicious. So this next one is the Cozy Peppermint Tea, and it is so good, so here's how to make it. You'll need a cute Christmas mug. You'll obviously need some peppermint tea. I have this one from the brand Stash, and it is honestly so freaking good. It's caffeine-free, it's herbal tea, it's organically grown, and it only has one simple ingredient, peppermint leaves. This is obviously optional, but if you want, you can get some candy canes for decor and to make it taste better. Milk and hot water. So first, we're gonna heat up the water, but please, before doing so, have a parent or guardian next to you while you're dealing with stoves for safety. So I'm going to be putting it on high just so it speeds up quicker. So as the water is boiling, I'm just going to be prepping my mug by taking out the tea bag and putting it inside. And 
you know, as you're waiting for your water to boil, you can do whatever the heck I'm doing here. Uh, yeah. So, we know that the water is done when it starts to boil, so just take it off the stove and pour it in the mug, but only halfway. Fill the mug only half with water. So then, fill the rest of the mug with milk. I just feel like this makes it so much more creamier because otherwise it would have been too minty, at least for me. You don't have to do this, but I find it way better. So now just give it a good stir, and like I said before, this is optional, but you can add your candy cane to make it look cute, and also you get a little dessert with your tea, and I honestly thought I wouldn't like this drink, but you guys, I love it so much, so Christmassy, so cozy, and so delicious. So next up, we have the yummy holiday hot chocolate. It is so freaking good, so here's how to make it. So you will need a cute mug, whipped cream, marshmallows, milk or water, whatever you choose, and then your hot chocolate mix. I'm going to be using this one from the European store. It is called Crush Express and I really like it, but of course use whichever one you want and have. So we're first going to start off by putting the hot chocolate powder into the mug. On my instructions it says to put three tablespoons of powder, so I'd guess around that estimate. So now we're gonna warm up our milk or water. I'm going to be using milk and I'm going to be using this cute little pot to warm it up on the stove. So I'm going to be pouring the milk up to the 0.2 mark. So I'm gonna put it on high, but milk is so easily able to burn, so make sure the entire time that you're stirring it. So since it was on high, it should only take a few minutes and I really like my hot chocolate really hot, so I like to do it to the extreme, but uh, it's all up to you how you want the temperature. So it's now time for the fun part, the topping. So I'm going to be putting a thick layer of whipped cream and then I'm just gonna add a few marshmallows for a yummy, cozy holiday touch. This hot chocolate is so good and it's the perfect cozy drink to have with your family when you're all cozed up watching Christmas movies and having a festive night. I definitely enjoy this drink so freaking much and I think you should too. Next up we got a delicious and simple Christmas cappuccino. You will need a fun Christmas mug, some sprinkles, whipped cream, candy canes, this is optional, obviously the water, and then you're gonna need your coffee, so I'm going to be using this Mocat Gold Premium Caramel Latte. I decided to go for a caramel flavor for the holidays, and they're just these really nice powder packets, and they turn really delicious. So I would start off by prepping your mug by putting the coffee inside first. Uh, so as you can see, mine come in these really cute gold packets of powder, so I just pour that into my mug before boiling the water. So I'm going to be putting it on high and it should only take a few minutes to boil. And when it's done, just give it a good stir. And so now I'm gonna put a layer of whipped cream, some sprinkles, and then I'm gonna add a cute little candy cane. And there's your Christmas cappuccino. I love coffee and I love sweets. So this combined is just definitely like delicious. And I just love having this like in the morning. I know, not healthy, but very delicious. I don't care. So the last drink is the creamy banana frappe, and this is more on the healthy side, so if you want a healthy but delicious Christmas drink, here it is. So you're gonna need a glass or cup, and then I also decided to use this Christmas straw for a little extra touch. You'll need a banana, whipped cream, chocolate chips, and then since I was making this for my mom, I used almond milk, but if it was for myself, I would have used regular milk, but if you were wondering, this is the So Nice Organic Unsweetened Almond Milk. So since this is a frappe and not a smoothie, you only need two ingredients, the banana and milk. So just put that into your blender and blend it for like a minute and it should be nice and creamy. And lastly, I'm just going to be putting whipped cream and chocolate chips. And there you have it, a healthy but yummy, cozy holiday drink. It is so good and cute and just very healthy, so I definitely recommend. Hi you guys, 
these are my five cozy holiday drink recipes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you found something that you may be interested in trying. And if you do, please let me know via YouTube or Instagram because I would love to know. And comment down below which uh, drink recipe interests you the most or which one you think looks the best or you think will taste the best. Uh, my probably favorite uh, would probably be the iced coffee because I just love iced coffee and if it's Christmas related, it's my jam. So let me know down below which one you think looks the best or you think will taste the best. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.